Hi children, today we are going to read our 41st book from the incredible Peppa Pig collection of Peppa's 50 story books. Shall we see what it is? It is numbers. Please click the like button if you like our video and also press the subscribe button to watch more videos from us. Numbers Peppa and her friends are at Playgo. Today we will be learning all about numbers, says Madame Gazelle. Does anybody know what numbers are used for? We use numbers to count, says Peppa. That's very good, Peppa, says Madame Gazelle. Numbers are used for counting. Now who would like to try some counting? Petra Pony counts to four. Rebecca Rabbit counts all the way to seven. Excellent, Petra and Rebecca. After seven comes eight, nine and ten, says Madame Gazelle. It is playtime, Rebecca. Zoe, Zebra, Zuzi, Sheep and Peppa all like to skip. I like sand, I like sea, I like Susie to skip with me, sings Peppa. I like pink, I like bong, I like Zoe to skip along, sings Susie. Let's see who can skip the longest without stopping, says Zoe. I'll count, says Rebecca. One, two, three. Three, four, five. Peppa is out. Six, seven, eight. Susie is out. Nine, ten. Zoe is the winner. Petro is hula hooping. I can do a million and three hula hoops without stopping, says Petro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has stopped hula hooping. I am a bit tired, says Petro. I'll do the rest later. Emily Elephant has a special way of hula hooping. She hula hoops with her trunk. The hoop spins round and round and round. It is too fast to count. I think that was about a hundred, says Susie. Judge wants to play leapfrog. Leapfrog everybody, cries Peppa. Richard Rabbit, Edmund Elephant, Susie, Rebecca, Peppa, Emily, Candy Cat, Danny Dog, Zoe and Petro line up. There are 10 children for George to jump over. George begins to jump and everyone counts along. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. George has jumped over everyone. George is very good at playing leapfrog. Now playtime is over and the children must return to the classroom. Daddy Pig has come to collect Peppa and George. He is very early but Madame Gazelle doesn't mind. Don't worry, you can join in our game, she says. Rachel and Edmund, please get the extra long skipping hope. Is everybody ready? Let's count to 10, says Madame Gazelle. 1, Daddy Pig is skipping. 2, now Peppa is skipping. 2, 3, Susie joins them. Madame Gazelle plays her guitar as the children join in one by one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count Daddy Pig and the children. It is much easier to count to 10 if you are playing a game at the same time. The end. That was good learning about numbers 1 to 10 and how to count them. Hope you all enjoyed reading the books with us. See you soon on another book. Until then, bye. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us. We have got loads of books on Peppa Pig, Bluey, Hey Doggy, Coco Milan, lots of puzzle books and mini library books. Sure, you will love that too. Today we are going to read 1, 2, 3.
Let's count from Kokamelan collection of books. One dog. Two kites. Three animals. Four drums. Five friends. Six trucks. Seven hats. Eight ducks. Nine beach balls. Ten strawberries. Can you count from one to ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hope you all have started to count one to ten. Bye. See you on another book. Please subscribe to watch more videos. Children, today we are going to see our 7th book from the Kokamilan Advent Calendar. 24 book Countdown to Christmas. Shall we see what is the 7th book? Okay, where is it? Here is 7. Shall we see what's the surprise inside? Today's surprise... It's number. We are going to learn numbers with Appleberry teacher. Shall we see? One. There is one Christmas tree and two wreaths. There are three cookies, four candy canes, five sprigs of holly, six gingerbread men. Seven bubbles, eight snowflakes, nine presents, and not but the, the least, ten stars. We can also color them in to make them look bright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Learn to count from one to ten with Miss Appleberry. Hope you all enjoyed reading this book with us. Bye. Hi children. Today we are going to read Ten Tiny Tadpoles. A book by Debbie Talbot. Ten tiny tadpoles wriggling in the line. One when chasing dragonflies, so that left nine speedy tadpoles, too busy to wait. One couldn't quite keep up, so that left eight playful tadpoles in splishing, splashing heaven. One stayed with the crayfish, so that left. Seven daring tadpoles getting up to tricks. One took a tactile right, so that left. Six frisky tadpoles need to duck and die. One swam off to join the shrimps, so that left. Five lively tadpoles splashing near the shore. One got lost among the reeds, so that left. 
four happy tadpoles floating fast and free. One met a friendly fish, so that left. Three nosy tadpoles roaming waters new. One nutted with the newts, so that left. Two cheeky tadpoles searching for some fun. One joined the water snails, no that left. One lonely tadpole wriggled off fun. Then suddenly he found his friends. Under the wow, ten bouncy baby frogs croaking all day long, hopping through the flowers as they sang their happy song. Ten tiny tadpoles wriggling in a line, one went chasing dragonflies, so that left nine. Follow the adventures of these bright, bold 3D tadpoles in this fun and funky counting book with a surprise pop up page at the end. That was a total surprise. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Hope you all enjoyed reading this book with us. If you like this video, Please press the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us. See you soon on another video. Until then, bye. Today we are going to read the book. Sing along with me, Five Little Dogs. Illustrated by Yu Husan Hong. Published by No Siklo. Vanga, book by read pangla. In the first page, we have an interesting slide. So, Five Little Dogs behind that. Mummy duck. Nice. Five little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mummy duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went swimming one day. Over the hills and far away, Mother Duck said quack, quack, quack. But only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went swimming one day. Over the hills and far away, Mummy Duck said quack, quack, quack. But only one little duck came back. Wow! One little duck went swimming one day. Over the hills and far away, Mummy Duck said quack, 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 quack. And all five ducks came back. That's very pretty. That's really nice of all the little ducks. Hi children, today we are going to read our 41st book from the incredible Peppa Pig collection of Peppa's 50 story books. Shall we see what it is? It is numbers. Please click the like button if you like our video and also press the subscribe button to watch more videos from us. Numbers. Peppa and her friends are at Playgo. Today we will be learning all about numbers, says Madame Gazelle. 
Does anybody know what numbers are used for? We use numbers to count, says Peppa. That's very good, Peppa, says Madam Gazelle. Numbers are used for counting. Now who would like to try some counting? Petra Boni counts to four. Rebecca Rabbit counts all the way to seven. Excellent, Petra and Rebecca. After seven comes eight, nine and ten, says Madame Gazelle. It is playtime, Rebecca. Zoe, Zebra, Zuzi Sheep and Peppa all like to skip. I like sand, I like sea, I like Susie to skip with me, sings Peppa. I like Bing, I like Bong, I like Zoe to skip along, sings Susie. Let's see who can skip the longest without stopping, says Zoe. I'll count, says Rebecca. One, two, three, four, five. Peppa is out. Six, seven, eight. Susie is out. Nine, ten. Zoe is the winner. Petro is hula hooping. I can do a million and three hula hoops without stopping, says Petro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has stopped hula hooping. I am a bit tired, says Petro. I'll do the rest later. Emily Elephant has a special way of hula hooping. She hula hoops with her trunk. The hoop spins round and round and round. It is too fast to count. I think that was about a hundred, says Susie. Judge wants to play leapfrog. Leapfrog everybody, cries Peppa. Richard Rabbit, Edmund Elephant, Susie, Rebecca, Peppa, Emily, Candy Cat, Danny Dog, Zoe and Petro line up. There are 10 children for George to jump over. George begins to jump and everyone counts along. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. George has jumped over everyone. George is very good at playing leapfrog. Now playtime is over and the children must return to the classroom. Daddy Pig has come to collect Peppa and George. He is very early but Madame Gazelle doesn't mind. Don't worry, you can join in our game, she says. Rachel and Edmund, please get the extra long skipping hope. Is everybody ready? Let's count to 10, says Madame Gazelle. 1, Daddy Pig is skipping. 2, now Peppa is skipping. 2, 3, Susie joins them. Madame Gazelle plays her guitar as the children join in one by one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count Daddy Pig and the children. It is much easier to count to ten if you are playing a game at the same time. The end. That was good learning about numbers one to ten and how to count them. Hope you all enjoyed reading the books with us. See you soon on another book. Until then, bye. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us. We have got loads of books on Peppa Pig, Bluey, Hey Doggy, Coca Melon, lots of puzzle books and mini library books. Sure, you will love that too. Today we are going to read 10 Little Engines from Thomas and Friends books. Count to 10 with Thomas and Friends children. Ten little engines living on soda, enjoying fun and adventurous galore. Nine little engines straining at the weight. Poof! Hiss! Goodbye, peeps Rosie. Now there are. Eight. Eight little engines 
you in at 11. Splish, splash. Goodbye, peeps. Hello. Now there are seven. Seven little engines, one in a fix. Oops, bump. Goodbye, peeps, Rebecca. Now there are six. Six little engines are quick to arrive. Toot toot. Goodbye, peeps, James. Now there are five. Five little engines going to the show. Goodbye, peeps, Emily, Epi. Now there are Engines happy as can be. Moo. Goodbye, peeps, Percy. Bye. Now there are three, three little engines heading to the zoo. Goodbye, peeps, Nia. Oh. Ooh. Now there are two. Two little engines, their hard work is done. Goodbye, peeps Gordon. Now there is one. One little engine has come so far. He wonders where all his engine friends are. Ten little engines all back in the shed. Good night, everyone. Time to go to bed. Hope you had fun. Counting backwards from 10 to 1. See you soon. Bye-bye. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos. Hi, children. Today we are going to read Peppa's Countdown to Bedtime. From Peppa Pig collection of books. Peppa's countdown to bedtime. Granny and Grandpa Pig were visiting Peppa and George's house. They had lots of fun together, but it was getting late. Come on, little ones, said Daddy Pig. Let's get you ready for bed. Can we play the countdown to bedtime game with Granny and Grandpa? Asked Peppa. Please? That's a lovely idea, said Mommy Pig. Why don't you tell Granny and Grandpa Pig how to play it? First, you count 10 things, then 9 things, then 8 things. All the way down to 1 thing before you go to bed, explained Peppa. That sounds like a game we used to play with your mommy when she was your age, said Granny Pig. Who is going to start the counting down? asked Grandpa Pig. Me! cried Peppa excitedly. I know. First, let's jump in. Ten muddy puddles. Peppa and George raced outside. Closely followed by Grandpa Pig, they found Ten very muddy puddles, perfect for jumping in. Splash, 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 splash. Peppa, George and Grandpa Pig jumped in ten very muddy puddles. Everyone was laughing and covered in mud. <laughs> That's ten muddy puddles. Jump in, said Peppa. What's next? It's starting to get dark, whispered Grandpa Pig. Before we go inside, shall we use my torch to see if we can spot nine nighttime creatures? Ooh, yes! Peppa whispered back. Peppa, George and Grandpa Pig tiptoed around the garden looking for nighttime creatures. Suddenly... George spotted lots of little hedgecocks scuttling across the grass. Hedgecocks! He cried, pointing. Peppa, George and Grandpa Pig counted nine cute hedgecocks. Great nighttime detective work, said Grandpa Pig. 
That's nine nighttime creatures spotted, said Peppa. What's next? George shone the torch up at the sky. Tweet, tweet, he said. Look, George has found eight little birds flying to their nest, said Peppa. Little birds, tweet, 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 tweet. Well done, John, said Grandpa Pig. Peppa and George waved goodnight to eight little birds flying to their nest. That's eight little birds waved to, said Peppa. What's next? I think it's time you flew home too, said Mummy Pig, coming outside. Peppa, George and Grandpa Pig pretended to be birds flying back home. In the living room, Granny Pig said, I see seven toy monkeys that need to be tidied away. Peppa and George picked up seven toy monkeys and put them in the basket. Good night, monkeys, said Peppa. That's seven toy monkeys tidied away, said Peppa. What's next? Peppa, George called Daddy Pig. Everyone rushed to the kitchen to find Daddy Pig with six glasses of warm milk. Here are six bedtime drinks, said Daddy Pig. Slurp, 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 slurp. Yummy. Thank you, Daddy, said Peppa, lifting her head up to show everyone her milk moustache. You are welcome, Peppa, said Daddy Pig. That is six glasses of yummy bedtime drink. Drunk, said Peppa. What is next? Shall we get you all cleaned up? Granny Pig asked Peppa and George. Bath time, cheat Peppa. Hooray! In the bathroom, Granny Pig spotted five rubber ducks in need of a wash. Splash, 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 splash. Peppa and George had lots of fun bathing with the five rubber ducks. And splashing Granny and Grandpa Pig too. It's time for the ducks to go to bed now, said Granny Pig. Night, night. Five little duckies, said Peppa. That's five rubber ducks, nice and clean, said Peppa. What's next? Mommy and Daddy Pig came to help Peppa and George get into their pajamas and brush their teeth. Oh no, gasped Peppa. What's wrong? asked Daddy Pig. We need something for number four, said Peppa. But George and I only had two toothbrushes. Don't worry, said Mommy Pig. Daddy and I will also brush our teeth too. Then we will have one, two, three, four. Finish, Peppa. Brush, 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 brush. Brush, 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 brush. After they were finished, Peppa said, That's four brushy toothbrushes brushed with. What is next? Grandpa Pig went to close the curtains in Peppa and George's bedroom. When they looked out of the window, Peppa and George counted three stars shining in the night sky. Look, George, cried Peppa, three twinkling stars. Let's pretend we are in a rocket exploring outer space. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. That's three twinkling stars counted said Peppa. What's next? Grandpa Pig had George into bed. Peppa Pig got tucked in your teddy. George, you tuck in Mr. Dinosaur. Then it's two favorite toys ready to sleep. That's two favorite toys all tucked in, said Peppa. What's next? Ah, uh -huh, said Granny Pig. We have a very special number one for you. We do said Grandpa Pig. Then he thought for a moment. Who? Yes, of course, he said. We have one very special bedtime story for both of you. Hooray! cheered Peppa and George. They loved bedtime stories. Peppa and George were all cuddled up and cozy in bed when Granny Pig started their one very special bedtime story. Once upon a time, began Granny Pig very quietly and very slowly. There were two little piggies who jumped in 
ten muddy puddles, spotted nine nighttime creatures, waved to eight little birds, tied it seven toy monkeys, shared six bedtime drinks. Bathed with five rubber ducks, found four brushy toothbrushes, counted three twinkling stars, tucked in two favorite toys. As Peppa and George closed their eyes, Granny Pig whispered and listened to one very special bedtime story. Night, night, little ones. Peppa and George were so tired from playing the countdown to bedtime game, they had fallen asleep. <sighs> No, no. Mommy and Daddy Pig came in to say good night. Ah, said Mommy Pig, seeing Peppa and George fast asleep. You can always count on the countdown to bedtime game. You can, indeed, said Granny Pig, looking over at Grandpa Pig, who had fallen asleep too. <laughs> Mommy Pig, Daddy Pig, and Granny Pig all laughed. <laughs> Peppa and George love counting to bedtime. Everyone loves counting down to bedtime. The end. It's getting late, but Peppa and George are in tired. Luckily, Granny and Grandpa pick their are help. Prepare them for a good night's sleep. It's time for Peppa's special countdown to bedtime game. Hope you all enjoyed reading this book with us. See you soon on another one. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us. Bye. Hi children. Today we are going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar Eats Breakfast. A counting book for any curly collection of books. Shall we see what it is going to be there for breakfast? Good morning. At breakfast time, The Very Hungry Caterpillar Eats one pot of creamy yogurt. Yum! Yogurt. Mm, yum! How many pots of yogurts are there? One. Go. Sometimes he eats two bowls of crispy cereal. Can you see the cereal? How many bowls? One, two. Often he likes to eat three soft and fluffy pastries. Cinnamon bun, muffin, croissant, nibble. One, two, three. On some days he eats four hot cooked foods toast bacon egg sausage chomp one two three four but his favorite breakfast is always five sweet and fresh foods apple Banana, orange, kiwi, blueberry. How many fruits are there? One, two, three, four, five. It's time to count breakfast. Count yummy foods from one, two, three, four, five with the very hungry caterpillar. Bye. See you soon on another book. Bye. Hello everybody. Today we are going to read the very hungry caterpillars. One, two, three. Finger puppet book. I'm sure you all love the very hungry caterpillar itself. But today's going to be a better book than that. So please watch till the end so you don't miss a bit. And we can have so much fun together. So let's start reading. One delicious apple. 
two crisp pears. Three tart plums. Four sweet strawberries. Five juicy oranges. Many colours, a beautiful butterfly. Guess what? The very hungry caterpillar has turned itself into a butterfly. Look how beautiful that is. And that's it from today's book. The very, very hungry caterpillars. One, two, three, finger puppet book. And if you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing so we can explore all our amazing books together without you missing a single one. So for now, we'll see you next time. And thank you for watching. Goodbye. Today we are going to see the book Five Wiggly Wiggly Caterpillars. Can you count? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. See? Why caterpillars wriggling on their way? Hmm. One stop to rest on the enjoy the sunny day. Oh, then how much will be left? Yes. Four are left now. Four caterpillars, they walk for very long. And one meteor, ladybird. So it wanted to stay with the ladybird. So how much more left? Three. Three are slowly crawling by. I think they are getting tired. Once stop. Why? It wanted to chat with this beautiful dragonfly. Oh. Then there will be only two if one stopped. Isn't it? See? These two are climbing in the trees. Yet one wants to munch on the leaves. One wants to go. So only one will be going further. One is staying behind. One lonely caterpillar. Can you see? Hmm. There is no fun on its own. See what they all have turned to become. <gasps> wow! Five beautiful butterflies. Can you see? <gasps> all of the caterpillars have turned into a really very beautiful butterflies. I enjoy it. It's really look beautiful. Hope you all enjoyed seeing this book. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. Until then, keep munching and crunching. Bye. Today, we are going to read the book. Sing along with me, Five Little Dogs. Illustrated by Yu Husan Hong. Published by No Sikmo. Vanga. Book by read Pangla. In the first page, we have an interesting slide. So, five little ducks behind that. Mommy duck. Nice. Five little ducks went swimming one day. Over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, quack, quack. But only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went swimming one day. Over the hills and far away, Mother Duck said quack, quack, quack. But only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went swimming one day. Over the hills and far away, 
Mummy duck said quack, quack, quack. But only one little duck came back. Wow. One little duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack. And all five ducks came back. That's very pretty. That's really nice of all the little ducks. Today, let's go for a walk in the countryside. What and all we can see when we go for a walk. And this will also show the counting. One dog. <gasps> yeah, what you can find for two? Two friends. Yeah, they are helping each other. Hmm, three trees or clouds. Can you spot all the five squirrels and six acorns? Good. There are two inside the tree. Have you found all the six acorns? Good. And there are seven stepping stones, eight ducks. Oh, sorry. Nine rabbits, ten leaves. Eleven mushrooms, twelve pine cones, thirteen birds, fourteen apples, fifteen dandelions, and sixteen fish, seventeen sheep, and eighteen blackberries. 19 geese and 20 footprints. Wow! So 10 footprints from each of them. Hundreds of stars in the sky. This is really a beautiful walk in the countryside. Of course, after the long walk, tired and sleepy now. Bye bye. There were ten in the bed. There were ten in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Bump! There were nine in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Boom! There were eight in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Boom! There were seven in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oops! There were six in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oops! There were five in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Booms! There were four in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out.
There were three in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Flop! There were two in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Flop! There was one in the bed and the little one said, Ha! Huh, all to myself at last. Oh, mouse! The end. Today we are going to read one, two, three with ten little rubber ducks by Eric Cole. So this is probably your favourite author, Eric Cole. So uh, stay tuned to the end and don't leave us any time soon. Let's start reading. One. One little duck swims down the stream. That's for number one. Two. Two little ducks spy a bunny hopping. That's the number two. Three. Three little ducks hear chicks chirping. That's the number three. Four. Four little ducks pass lambs frolicking. That's the number four. Five. Five little ducks See eggs hidden in the grass. That's the number five. Six. Six little ducks float by leaping frogs. That's the number six. Seven. Seven little ducks spot butterflies soaring. That's the number seven. Eight little ducks see flowers growing. That's the number eight. Nine. Nine little ducks hear birds singing. That's the number nine. Ten. Ten little ducks are happy that it's finally spring. That's the number ten. And that's it from one, two, three with ten little rubber ducks from Eric Carl. If you enjoyed this video, which I'm sure you all did, please consider subscribing so you won't miss a single one of our amazing exploring adventures. So for now, see you next time and thanks for watching.